Namaste. So this is going to be a yoga practice that are focusing on different kinds of twists in the upper body for some kind of detoxing of the limb system and we're going to do some balances with uh, different kinds of warrior asanas. So I will just get started at the top of the mat and you can just join. So come to the top of the mat uh, with the feet wide on the floor and you can draw the kneecaps also up. And then you can just have your arms uh, hanging on the sides of the body. And then on an inhale, you will take the right arm up and rotate it backward. So inhale, take the arm up and then exhale, rotate it downward. So you do a few kinds of shoulder opening movements here with the arm. And then we're going to take the other side. So inhale, take the left arm up to the sky and exhale, rotate it backward. Inhale, come forward with the left arm and exhale, take the arm back. So you will do a few rotations here with the left arm and then you can take both the arms on an inhale and rotate them forward. Synchronize both of the arms. And then you can just shake the hands here and then take the hands to the heart and draw the kneecaps up and keep a long spine here and draw the tailbone in and then on an inhale take the hands up we're going to do some Surah Namaskara A inhale look up and exhale fold forward inhale extend the spine forward and exhale, step back into a high plank. And stay here in the plank for a few moments. And then on an exhale, lower the knees and lower the upper body to the floor. Inhale, come up into a small cobra and take the hands off the floor. And you can look over the right shoulder and then exhale back to the center. Inhale, look over to the left. And exhale back to the center and take the hands down to the floor. Inhale, come up into a nice kind of upward facing dog. And stay here for a few breaths, yes. And then exhale and shift back into downward facing dog. And just let the head hang really heavy here. Keep the arms very strong and keep them very straight. And you can keep the knees slightly bent here if you need to. And then on an inhale, come up on the toes and exhale, bend the knees and step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend the spine forward. And then exhale, deeply fold forward over your legs. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky and look up. And exhale, circulate the arms down and take the hands back to the heart. Inhale, take the hands up and look up and exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, extend the spine nice and long and exhale, yawn for a step back into Chaturanga all the way to the floor and inhale, come up into upward facing dog and exhale back into downward facing dog with the tailbone up to the sky. Inhale, come up on the toes and exhale, bend the knees and jump or step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend the spine and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, take the hands all the way up to the sky and exhale, circulate the arms back 
and take the hands back to the heart. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward in a nice angle swan dive. Inhale, straight the spine, nice and long. Exhale, yum for step back into Chaturanga. And then you're going to inhale and come up into upward facing dog. And the knees are off the floor. And then exhale, shift back the tailbone up to the sky. And stay here in the downward facing dog just for a few breaths. And then on an inhale, extend the right leg up to the sky behind you. Keep the core really strong here. And then bend the right knee and shift forward on an exhale and take the right knee towards the right tricep. And then inhale, take the right leg up back to the sky. And then on an exhale, step the right leg up between the hands. And keep the, uh, keep the left uh, foot here up on the toes. And then you're going to come in to a nice, you know, warrior one here. But this is... Still, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the toes that you are supporting the left foot on. So, it's, uh, you would call this a crescent, you know. So, then on an exhale, open up the arms here and extend them to the side of the right. And come into a small twist here with the upper body. So you will still keep the hip, hips facing forward, but you will do a rotation in the uh, middle of the upper body as you open up to the side here. And keep the left leg really strong here, so you have a nice support. And uh, do not make any kind of rotation in the left knee. The rotation is coming from the upper body here, you know. And then on an inhale, extend the left arm up to the sky and take the right hand to the left back of the leg above the knee and come into a small kind of back bend here. And then you're going to release and swing the arms into a warrior two. So you have to take the left heel also to the floor. And draw the tailbone in and keep the core really strong. And your hips are facing towards the left side here. And look over the right hand fingertips and keep the arms really steady here and then on an inhale reverse the warrior into a nice kind of side stretch here so you keep the left hand either on the lower part of the leg or above the knee and the right arm is extending over your head towards the back. And then you're going to circulate the hands and come down all the way to the floor and into a Chaturanga. Inhale, come up into upward facing dog. And then on an exhale, shift back into the upward facing dog. So we will do the same thing with the other side, so on the left. On an inhale, extend the left leg up to the sky. And then exhale, draw the left knee towards the left tricep. Inhale, extend the left leg back up to the sky. And then 
Exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. And then take the arms back here and inhale, come into a warrior one, but you are supporting the right leg on the right toes here. So the heel is not touching the floor. And the hips are facing forward and the left knee is nicely bent here in a 90 degree. And you can look up here towards your hands. And remember to do not uh, over arch the back here, but keep the core really strong. And also keep the, the right leg here really strong. And then on an exhale, you're going to open up here towards the left side with the upper body so we come into a small twist here the hips are still facing forward the arms are extending the, the right arm is extending forward and the left is extending back and the twist is coming from the upper body here so draw the navel in towards the spine and keep a really steady kind of breath here and then on an exhale, you're just going to rotate the arms and come into warrior two. So the right heel is touching the floor and the hips are open towards the right side here of the mat and the arms are strong and extending. Look over the left fingertips and draw the tailbone in and remember to keep the left knee here nicely bent and then on an inhale reverse the warrior and come into a nice kind of side stretch here so you feel a nice stretch here on the left side of the upper body on the side and look up and then on an exhale swing the arms down to the floor and step back into Chaturanga and inhale come up into upper facing dog and then shift the hips back into baby's pose so the upper body comes between the knees here forehead is touching the floor and inhale come up into all four and then shift back on an exhale into downward facing dog inhale come up on the toes and exhale bend the knees jump or step up to the top of the mat inhale lengthen the spine exhale fold forward at your hips inhale circulate the arms all the way up to the sky here and exhale, take them back to the heart. So just take a few breaths here at the top of the mat. So now we're going to do this flow one more time, but slightly more connected with the breath. So inhale, take the hands up to the sky, exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, extend the spine. And then exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, come up in downward facing dog. And then exhale, shift back into downward facing dog. Inhale, extend the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee towards the right tricep. Inhale, extend the leg up to the sky. And exhale, take the foot forward. Inhale, come up into crescent. And then exhale, do the twist to the upper body. And inhale, take the uh, right hand to the back of the left leg here. And then on an exhale, shift back into warrior two. Inhale, come into 
reverse warrior and then exhale take the hands down into chaturanga inhale come into upward facing dog and exhale shift back into downward facing dog inhale take the left leg up to the sky and exhale draw the knee towards the left tricep inhale extend the leg and then exhale step the left foot up on the mat and then inhale come up into a nice crescent here and then on an exhale come into the side twist here towards the left inhale extend the right hand up to the sky with the left hand on the right back of the leg and rotate the arms on an exhale into warrior two inhale right reverse the warrior here and then on an exhale come into chaturanga and then inhale upward facing dog and exhale shift back into the upward facing dog inhale come up on the toes and then you can either jump through or simply sit down on the mat so now extend the legs forward here on the mat and you can do some kinds of you know rotations here on the feet so you rotate them kind of up and you know to in a towards the side you know and then on an inhale draw the right foot in here and place it uh, place the right ankle above the left leg or left knee here you know and then take the right foot on the outside of the left uh, knee and place the right hand be behind your right shoulder inhale extend the left arm up to the sky really extend the spine before you exhaling and coming into the twist towards the right side here look over the right shoulder if you can but allow the movement here of this twist to come from the you know upper body here and you can use the left hand you know to sort of push yourself deeper into the twish, twist and remember to take really deep breaths here and then come back to the center and release the twist and take a small bow towards the left side and extend the right leg back inhale take the left leg now and place the left arm ankle <laughs> ankle oh my goodness um, be, be, uh, above your right uh, knee here it's like every time I try to say ankle ankle I say ankle instead you know anyhow so then on another inhale take your left foot to the outside of the right knee and place your left hand behind your left shoulder inhale extend the right hand up to the sky with a really long and straight spine and exhale come into the twist towards the left side here draw the navel towards the spine for a deeper kind of twist and take some really deep breaths here in this twist and then come back to the center and take a small bow towards the right side here and then as you have the left foot here sort of pointing towards the right side with the knee in the same direction just take your body weight towards the right side and draw your uh, right foot towards your left hip here so you will have the 
right knee bent and then you will place the left knee above the right knee here. So you have both of the legs are bent. If you feel any kind of discomfort in this, you know, in the knees, just simply come out of the, you know, of this pose and you can just, you know, keep the legs straight forward and just do some forward fold. Or you can also repeat the same sequence in the rotations that we did just. But typically there is always like some uh, space in each of the asanas where you actually can reach, you know, depending on where you are in this moment and wherever your body is, you know. So this is just, uh, you know, sort of working with the sides here of the, the legs. And then you can come out of this sort of twisted thing. And now you're going to draw the left foot towards the right hip. And then you're going to place the right uh, knee above the left knee. And come into the same kind of asana here. And you will always experience that, you know, uh, you can have some kind of disalignment, you know, on one side. So maybe in one side of your, you know, practice, either on the left or right, you will experience that you have more flexibility or you maybe have more strength. So you, your hip is maybe more open on one of the sides. Um, so it's really important, you know, in yoga to sort of balance the sides here, you know, and that's why it's so important to always to work the same sequence with both of the sides, you know. So you would have an equal and kind of same kind of strength on both sides. But either way, it's very hard to actually be, you know, fully on point on both sides. So you can release the legs here, do some, you know, again, rotations for the knees. You can extend the arms up here, you know, on an inhale, and then you can just fold forward over your legs. You can keep the knees slightly bent here and grab onto the top of the uh, toes here with your hands and sort of just extend over the legs here. And then release and come back into the center. And I think we have, yeah, this is over 20 minutes. So we're going to end here in our half lotus. So just come into shorts.